Hello guys, today we are going to see some interesting topics uh, related to, uh, with the ASP.NET MVC. So uh, here I have um, uh, money uh, that uh, 2 rupees uh, that how I am displaying here is I have a model called a test model. Uh, so uh, the test model uh, contains a property called decimal money and uh, I have a index action. So here I am uh, just uh, uh, create an object of uh, test model and I am adding the money uh, 2 rupees uh, so uh, mm, 2 bucks uh, so that I am pushing to the view so I am calling the display for uh, uh, with that uh, e dot money so that will bind uh, in a strongly type so that is what uh, you are seeing here so here I want to do something differently see here uh, mm, I am displaying some uh, plain um, money that uh, 2.00 uh, but what I want to do here is I want to customize my display for here so if I call uh, uh, any time uh, that uh, decimal types uh, or, or uh, if I consider as a money so I need to um, do some customization how the customization uh, like um, I want to uh, display um, this uh, 2 rupees uh, default with the span with a class something like a span uh, class uh, currency uh, in that because now see if I call displays for it is directly mm, displaying me something so I want something like this default it should uh, generate okay uh, this uh, html text uh, i know uh, don't want to write like this because i i need to generate a uh, default if i call the money symbol uh, money uh, that uh, which i uh, called for uh, from the strong so if i uh, try to uh, call my display for uh, it should uh, default it should generate my span class uh, currency under inside that 2.0.0 like that i need to do so uh, very simple so I need to customize my display for uh, uh, so how to do that is a today's topic that we're going to discuss so how uh, default uh, we can pass the uh, rupees uh, to uh, that will uh, come into the display for but I want um, my HTML as well uh, default it should generate if I call the e dot money uh, wherever uh, in my page so how to achieve that yes we can do that so for that we need to create our own custom uh, template for a display for we no need to uh, go and use the default uh, display for for that how to override that uh, function we're going to see now so here uh, in a shared folder you go and create a uh, folder called uh, display templates okay display templates and under this go and create one view just name as currency if uh, anything mean by currency uh, uh, so uh, we can use this template uh, to override the default one so I'm just keeping the name as currency So here uh, it's generating me uh, some default data that I don't want. I'm going to add something like this. What I did here is, um, so what I'm uh, doing is uh, the data type uh, default model uh, is a decimal. So this is the uh, type of the properties decimal. Uh, if uh, the properties matches, so what I'm telling is just generate a span class currency and whatever the data that uh, data which comes uh, that you format uh, with uh, like this so in um, us uh, what it is actually it will uh, convert you uh, to the dollar so that is what i, I default to set the properties so you can uh, create a uh, multiple um, templates like currency uh, uh, underscore us underscore india underscore uh, america underscore um, london whatever you want so you can set the format uh, whatever you need so uh, I, uh, this is the model uh, 2 rupees that will uh, come into the uh, come into the model uh, so anyways it's accept the decimal property and uh, I'm just converting 
the currency uh, to the particular format C is actually uh, it will help us uh, to convert uh, into the dollar symbol so we'll see how uh, this uh, normal uh, rupees uh, sorry normal bucks uh, to um, dollar that it's going to looks like with a dollar symbol so that is what actually we we're going to see uh, okay now uh, how to use this uh, into my page so this is uh, I created one custom so so display for also the same mm display for also the uh, MEC also do the such a things though it is like a funk uh, so that is what we done so we created a display template under that we call named as uh, currency and uh, you go to the model and you tell that just uh, take the UI uh, hint as a currency so on uh, runtime if I hit the display for uh, it will check the UI hint currency if any uh, currency it will override the default uh, mm, uh, display for and it will uh, uh, bind the view that what we ha we customized our own way so okay so you need to add the attribute called UA hint that is from the data annotations so what uh, actually the UA hint is do this uh, if uh, if we add the UA hint property um, it will uh, give you the hint to the UI that uh, so uh, please find the um, currency so uh, currency template and please override uh, the display for template so that is what uh, actually or display for edit for lot of stuffs are there so whatever you are customized uh, uh, template that you want to override so if you use the UI hint it will go and find in your share folder so you you can create the folders like display template you want to replace the display for for that you need to name us uh, display templates uh, under that uh, the name uh, the hint uh, currency if you mention and if you go inside so uh, it's written the value to um, that will convert like this and uh, it will return finally the uh, uh, as uh, as the output uh, we expected like this so let me go and again uh, build my application so I will just go and uh, start debugging so uh, here you in you don't need to change anything so in uh, in your index uh, so I, I just uh, remove this uh, stuffs so only display for I am using so anyways we customized already we uh, we told the hint that uh, uh, this e dot money uh, please go and check uh, in a runtime um, that things so that is what all about it's going to check So we'll see how the things is uh, really works. Yes, it's loaded and it's add uh, add me the dollar symbol. Let's inspect the page. And we see yes, it generated me the span clash currency with a uh, dollar symbol yes because I said the format already uh, please convert uh, this to the string and uh, the please uh, do the format such as C is a currency symbol so uh, uh, please convert as a currency and the format is a US dollar so that is what all about here so you can uh, give whatever the cultural name you want so I want to return my money in a dollar so I customize like that hopes you understand how to customize your display for template in a runtime so like this you can override the property please uh, go through my uh, tutorial again one more time to get a clear picture if you have any doubt queries please comment us thanks for watching the video guys this is a way to override the display template I will bring you some uh, good useful template sorry useful tutorial in a future session thanks for watching the video please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before